campus of the University of Maryland for today's game. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We're ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 30-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. He heaves it deep. On the reception, look out. Nobody there. And he's tackled around the one-yard line. This secondary better tighten it up. They're going to slow down this drive. That makes it first and goal. First down. They're inside the five. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. Now he's scrambling. Play action pass, touchdown! yard drive and it's good for seven points Connecticut ready to kick this one off sends it sailing downfield he's to the 20 they'll bring him down at the 28 the quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive Three yard line. There you go. Good read by the quarterback to give the offense a new set of downs. If the defense wants to line up in man, work that slant route until they stop it. He makes it out to maybe the 46 yard line. Gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Three down, three down. Mike Sick, 33. 33. Here we go. Red A. Jim. Ross off the right side. Nice run, and he's brought down. Gain of six on the play. Third down. Three down, three down. Hey, check by 33. Check by 33. He's taken down at about the 45. The quarterback kept it for himself and got the first down. I'll tell you what, you got to be a tough quarterback to run this kind of offense. You take so many more hits and can really get banged around, even on a good day. He's at the 30, to the 20. And they push him out at the 16. Inside the 10 yard line. Second down. Here we go. He's under some heat. And down he goes at the two yard line. He did a good job of recognizing that he was the best option for picking up the first. Cut 
Touchdown, Terrapins. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 21. This offense did really well with the air attack on their last trip out there. Let's see if they can do the same thing here. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, and you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. Tackle at the 34. You talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. From their own 34-yard line. First down. With the pass incomplete. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision, throwing into coverage. Needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. Third and ten coming up. Ball on their own 34. Complete brought down, nothing doing. That screen play gets him a yard at the most. The offense is trying to get the ball into the hands of the halfback here, and he did a pretty good job of getting a few yards, but the defense was just swarming to the ball right there. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. He's tackled at the 36-yard line. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. the stop at around the 48-yard line. Quick strike to the receiver. Tackle made at the 18-yard line. concern from his teammates with a guy down on the field. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. And he's taken down at the six-yard line. Bring him down around the four-yard line. That's a game of two on the play. That brings him second and goal. And he's tackled at the three. Game of one yard. That makes us third and goal. He's going to run for the end zone, and he doesn't get in. That brings us fourth and goal. This one should be makeable. Might have been some early movement up front. False start, offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. 
The Terrapins now with their quarterback down to an injury, and they've got to find a way to get back in this game and get their heads back in the game without their leader. Kicks away, and it splits the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Maryland lines up for the kickoff. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. Tackle made at the 22. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Gets it. He's in space. He goes out of bounds at the 34-yard line. From their own 34-yard line, it's first down. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That makes it second and eight. We've played one. Maryland leads 10-7. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. McComb on the handoff. He tackles him for a loss. From their own 36-yard line, third down. Out. Down at about the 43 yard line. Certainly, they don't have the return on here. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Maryland has a three-point lead. Caught with room to work. He's taken down right around the 38-yard line. The defense might be licking their chops right now, Herbie. We've got a change at the quarterback position. We know the kid is talented, but you got to know the defense is going to come after him. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Gain of six on the draw play. They'll drop him for a loss. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 42-yard line. hit before it could go anywhere. He's got it with room to run. And down he goes at the 24-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Tackles him hard at the 24. Fires that quickly, incomplete. There was just no way anybody could catch up with that pass. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Maryland holds a field goal lead. Nice run up the middle.
Fires out to his receiver. Tackle at about the 11. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. From the 17-yard line, third down. Reed gets another carry. Runs it left for a decent game. Gets to about the eight yard line. He's going to try and scramble, and they got him. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. This is the 15th play of this drive. Makes it to the five. That's a game of turn Maryland is up by three. Touchdown, Maryland! That'll be a big boost. You always want to capitalize on these short yardage situations, and that pass was an excellent call. Converts the extra point. A long 16 play, 77 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Gets out to about the 21. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Quick throw out to the receiver. And they make the stop at the 34. From their own 34-yard line. First down. That makes it first and 10. Steps up in the pocket. Here's the true test of a quarterback at any level. Can they make a good throw under pressure when one or two or three guys are coming right at him? I think this young passer has proven that, yes, he can. Under heavy pressure. And he's sacked. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Tackle made at about the 49. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's tackled at the 44-yard line. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. You don't need three guesses to figure out what they're going to run right here on fourth and short. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. Well, that penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. 
They punch it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? Yeah, this offensive coordinator has got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time into trying to put a plan together, and to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. We've still got a half of football remaining. Maryland's got a 10-point lead. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Both pass offenses lighting it up in the first half. They put up big numbers, averaging more than 10 yards per pass. David, I always hear this deal about how cornerbacks, all defensive backs, have to have a short memory. Yeah. Do, you, do you think these guys have a short memory? Of, are they able to get past what happened to them in the first half? They might want to get a shrink and erase their memory. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 25-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Pressure coming. And he's tackled right away. And they got him for a loss. Loss is three on the way. That'll bring up third and four. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. How about that conversion on third down? Good push here by the guys up front, and they are really starting to work hard in the trenches. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That makes it second and 14. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. He's under pressure. Grabs it and hammered right there. Cross is out to the tailback on the screen. And he's taken down around the 39-yard line. That makes it fourth and 12. Mack is back to receive. <laughs> Mack fields it at the 26. So he got a little on that return. Well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Zips it to the tight end. They'll bring him down at the 38-yard line. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Second down and six. Ball on their own 38. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. That's a game and eight on the play. That makes it first and ten. From midfield, second down. Nice 
run there as they work the outside. Gain of six, six yards. yards. First, First down. down. Positive yardage. That's good for a of seven yards. That'll be second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. On the run. Makes it out to about the 29. Gain of eight yards. First down. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. From the 29-yard line, it's second down. Setting up blockers, a running back's got it on the screen, and he shoved out of bounds at about the 19-yard line. That'll bring up third and inches. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Three down, three down. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, number 53. They go to the left for a nice game. On the run. That's a gain of five on the play. That makes it first and ten. It's first and ten. Ball on the 14. He's going right. The pass was incomplete. Number 49 was the intended. It's the 11th play of the drive. That makes it second and 10. Three down, three down. Watch number 12. Watch number 12. Let's go, let's go. Run, run, run. Nice run there. McCone gains about five yards on the run. They're about four yards away here on third down. He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. The kick is up, and it splits the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Maryland is up seven. And he's level at the 18-yard line. Call it a loss of seven yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. I got, I got Mike Sick, 33. 33. Set, down. Blue. Check, check. Right line, right line. Back, back, back. Back. Rifles it left. And he's tackled at the 38. Zips it to the back. Run down around the 46-yard line. That's three down and one to go. Maryland's lead is a touchdown. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Gets out to about the 37 yard line. Gain 
wins his way to the 29-yard line. They bring him down in the backfield. Maryland is up a score. He's on the run. Runs outside for a nice game. So with that run, they pick up another first. Just a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. He's taken down at the 23. Good score, and down he goes around the 12-yard line. And this is the 10th play of the drive. He makes it to the nine. That's a game three on the play. That makes it second and eight. throws this one away and once again they'll come to the line try to convert on third down that's got it on the quick throw tackle at about the seven yard line number 97 on the tackle at the seven yard line that'll bring up fourth and five It's up, and the field goal is good. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20, and down he goes at the 23-yard line. We're about set to start things up again. Less than three minutes in the game. It's the tailback. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. Second down and seven. Ball on the 27. Slings it. This one's intercepted. It's the sophomore safety. That is exactly the kind of play you want to see from a safety. He needs to be able to read the play and then make the interception. From the 50, first down. Gets out to about the 48-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. Connecticut will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. They'll work the left. Nice run to the left there. The Huskies are going to call their second timeout. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. the stop at the 20-yard line. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. Inside the 10, makes it to the 5. 
what is going on with this defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs and they're executing well, but the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. A little over a minute in the game. with the extra point. A five-play, 51-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart up. They can really demoralize the defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. So the score now, 27-10. Fielded at the four. Tries to get around the corner. He's pushed out of bounds right around midfield. The Terrapins have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it set up their offense to be able to score points. An interception cut this offense last drive short, so I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Quick throw. Spikes the ball. We're down to just a minute in this game. And a quick throw. He's tackled right around the 38-yard line. And he stops the clock with a spike. From the 38-yard line, second down. Under a minute left. Wants to throw outside. Fires it out. Tackle made at the 17 yard line. I think he was going to go to his tight end the whole way, but the defense didn't expect it. Sometimes those big guys can fool defenders into thinking they're blocking. The spike will stop the clock. From the 17 yard line, second down. And it's almost picked off. It's the ninth play of the drive. Here comes the pressure. Throws, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. This quarterback has got to do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. And he's hit immediately. That makes it first and goal. Spikes the ball. We're at the 12th play of the drive. They put everyone up on the line. And he's taken down just outside the goal line. And he stops the clock with a spike. So from a yard out, the offense is going to try to stay on the field here on fourth down and goal. Got his tight end touchdown. What a 
target. That tight end is close to the goal line. Well, the coach has to be happy with this guy's play so far. So I would expect to see a lot of passes thrown his way, especially in short yardage situations. They rolled the dice and went for it on fourth. And I'm sure they're happy with the result. And he converts the extra point. made at the 43. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. Should do in our final tally of this one. 27-17, Terrapin. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.